Good morning and welcome to, technically this is View to Stretch and Mobility, but we put a little twist on it today. It's Mobility and Mimosas! Boop, boop! <laughs> All right, so let's just take a sip to that. Come on with it. Mm, so good. It has a little mango in it, by the way, Colleen. All right, so for those of you who have been to class before, you know the drill. You're going to grab your foam roller. You're going to start to uh, figure out what's going on in your outer thighs. For those of you that are new to class, what we typically do is spend about 30 seconds in the beginning of class just kind of feeling out the body. So if you have a foam roller or a rolling pen, what I want you to do is set it up on the back edge of your mat, the one that's furthest from the head of it. You're going to line up in a side plank of sorts. You're gonna make sure your legs are in line with your hips and you're gonna lower yourself onto your elbow if you can. Before we roll, you're gonna take your top hip and tilt it down so you're right on the side edge of your quad. And what you're gonna do is slowly walk your way up the mat, rolling down toward the knee. And then you're gonna slowly roll your way back up to the hip, okay? Keep doing that. What you're trying to do is assess <clears throat> where the most tight or the most painful areas of your body are when you do this. Now, if you don't have a foam roller, you're going to kind of lay on your side, make your leg long, and you're just going to push your knuckles into your leg in a circular motion. You're gonna stay on the outer thigh and maybe in toward the quad, and you're just gonna feel for knots. Let's have everyone come back up to the hip that's on the foam roller, so come back here. Check your form, okay? I want you to slowly move down the leg and I want you to stop at your first most major knot. When you find it, hold it. Oh my God, my drink is all the way over there. Take a sip. Let me grab my drink. Let me grab my drink. This is where you sip. Now, depending on how much mimosa you have, take your sips wisely. We're gonna knock out about six or seven knots on this side and then we're gonna switch, okay? If you're not using a foam roller, just find a real big knot and forcefully press your knuckles into your thigh, okay? We have about six more seconds. Hold. I want you to start deep breathing, so take a nice deep inhale, fill up the lungs, big soothing exhale. And on your next courageous exhale, I want you to slowly travel down the leg. Stop at your next ooh, your next ouch, your next, next grimace. One of those things. All right, and you're gonna hold it. Remember, the legs are straight or in line with the hips. Your top hip is tilted down so you're off the IT band and really onto the meat of the muscle. To feel lighter in your upper body, right? You can either open up your top arm or just physically prop yourself up. That's to avoid so much tension on the elbow. And alternatively, you can come up, but this is not as effective as being down on your elbow, okay? So start your deep breathing again. Deep breath in, big exhale. All right, do a few more of those. And on your next courageous exhale, travel to your next, Ah, ooh, ah, painful knot. And take a sip. Excellent. Each time we stop, so this is point number three. Each time we stop, we're going to go over that checklist. Are my legs in line with my hips and shoulders? Is my top hip tilted down? Am I propped up tall and light on my elbow? Am I pressing my hips down into that foam roller? Okay. Keep your breathing going, make it a bit more deep. And on your next courageous exhale, keep traveling down the leg. Keep going, guys. Now, keep going. I want you to stop, take your sit. The reason that we kind of go from high to low is because that's the gravitational pull on your muscles, right? Because we're standing most of the time, the pull is this way. So it just is more logical and it feels better for us to roll down that way, okay? Hold it, we have about 10 seconds here, right? 
if you're curious curious as to like if you're on the right spot seriously it's the point that makes you like literally curse me out in your head it's literally that point <laughs> so you'll know okay take a deep breath in on the exhale move to point number four you know the drill take a sip or two and hold give your body ample time to communicate and to retrain your muscles to know it's okay to be open okay it's okay to be loose we have eight seconds here remember if that elbow or shoulder starting to feel achy you can come up high or you can go down low as long as you're stationary and dug into the foam roller you're good okay deep breath in on the exhale keep the hips tilted and move hold hold it there what's next guys yeah take a sip <laughs> if you're if you don't have your foam roller right keep that leg super long keep the muscle fibers exposed and we're gonna press right down into this we have about 10 more seconds here i want you to push <clears throat> a little deeper into that foam roller if you're using your hand push down a little harder so that was point four yeah take a deep breath in on the exhale slowly move down closer to the knee to point five now you have many more knots than the six that we're going to do right now but we only have this so much time so i'm always going to give you an option as we go through class to come back to these spots. So let's say we move on to the calves and you feel like you don't have very much tightness in the calves. I'll give you the option to come back to this. So this is your workout. It's your body and everyone's body is differently. So you have some flexibility there. Take a deep breath in. <clears throat> on your exhale, <clears throat> excuse me, move to point number six. Don't forget to take your sip and hold. Hold it right here, guys. So remember, the legs are long, your heels, your hips, and your shoulders are all in the same vertical plane. They all fit into one lane, okay? You're light through the upper body, all right? Your top hip is tilted down. We have 10 more seconds. Hold it, okay? If you're upright, dig a little deeper into that leg. In three, two, one one release come on up give me a few shoulder rolls to the back okay we're going to start from the very beginning we're going to switch sides okay so bring that foam roller or a rolling pin to the bottom edge of your mat okay i want you to rest your hip on there remember we're going to take about 30 seconds to assess what's going on on this side okay Go ahead and slowly roll up and down. I'm going to switch sides. Same technique as before. Legs are straight, hips are tilted. All right, everyone travel back to the hip. Okay, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, slowly run this foam roller down to your first big knot. Once you get there, what do you do? Ha <laughs> ha. Take a sip. So good. So, so good. Whoever invented the mimosa, man. So good. All right, hold it here. Think light through the upper body. Think heavy through the legs into the foam roller. Keep that top hip tilted. Start your deep breathing, big inhale, exhale. Each exhale makes you longer and more relaxed on your next big courageous exhale slowly travel down hold it yeah stop cursing me in your head sean morris <laughs> i can hear you now actually <laughs> hold it did you take a sip i hope so so this is point two okay something i commonly see in class is that to sort of avoid the pain, people's feet will come kind of creeping forward. I want you to squeeze your glutes, flatten your hips, and bring your heels back. Start your deep breathing again. Big cleansing inhale. 
big relaxing exhale. Okay, once you're ready, slowly travel down the leg, find your next knot, your next ooh, ah, ouch, <laughs> or child please, any one of those reactions, stop there. Take your sip. Okay, if you cannot balance one foot stacked on top of the other, you're more than welcome to take this top foot and just place it right in front of the bottom, okay? The most important thing is that your legs stay in line with your body. The reason that we focus on that straightness, you guys keep holding, is that your body is always trying to find these really creative ways to avoid pain. It's a defense mechanism and it's useful, okay? So we wanna always create a muscle fiber or a group of muscles that's just long and open and pulling the knots up to the top, right? So we don't want them to hide. Take a deep breath in. On the exhale, travel to point number four, right? So we don't wanna hide those knots because we bent or we kind of, you know, deviated from the plan. We wanna expose them by keeping really long, stretched out muscles, okay? Hold it. Take another sip, why don't you? <laughs> All right, we're here. So this is point number four. Remember your upper body options. You can lay fully out, you can come higher up, but ultimately I wanna challenge you to come back to your elbow because that's where the stretch is most effective. Deep breath in. On the exhale, go ahead and travel, getting a little closer to the knee. Now we wanna make this class a part of your normal workout regimen, especially for those of you that take a lot of the high impact classes, like body pump, like cardio dance, like cut and shred. Um, we don't do nearly enough to restore the body, right? So we go heavy on the stress and then we don't do enough to restore. And then we end up with buckling knees when we squat or painful lower backs when we sit or tears and ruptures, right? So this should be a part of your regimen. Go ahead and travel to point number five, okay? I also get the comment, well, I do yoga. That's cool. I love a good yoga class, but this is different. This is different. This actually sets you up for yoga. Very few yoga classes dig into the muscles like this class is, right? So no matter what type of class you like, this should be a complement to it. It's not something, you know, that you replace with your normal classes. Okay, go ahead and move to point number six. Don't forget to sit. Oh, there's a good one. Ah, there's a good one right there. I might need another sip for that one. All right, so this is our last knot on this leg on this side. So make sure you get the most out of it. We're here for another 15 seconds. So make sure that hip is tilted. Make sure you're light through the upper body and that you're really pushing down into that foam roller. Okay, eight seconds. Take a nice deep breath in. On your exhale, go ahead and come on up. Roll those shoulders back. If you have a ball, a lacrosse ball, a massage ball, a tennis ball, grab that. Otherwise, you can try to do this um, with your foam roller. We're gonna move to the calves here. I'd like for you to first take another sip. Can't forget that, cheers. Now, we're gonna move to the calf, which is a smaller and more curvy um, muscle group than your thighs. So we kind of adjust our equipment accordingly if we can. So if you have that ball, I want you to place it right underneath the thickest part of your calf in the back, okay? And what you're gonna do is start to roll your leg in and around into this ball. And you're searching for knots. Okay, if you have your foam roller, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna roll pretty much from the back of the knee <clears throat> down toward the ankle, okay? If you don't have any of this equipment, you can do the same thing. Take your knuckle and just dig for lumps or knots, okay? Now, your calf wraps around your leg or it wraps around, it is a part of your leg. So as you're searching for knots, Go ahead and turn your toe out and explore what's, what's in the outside. 
Now, this is my favorite area because it hurts so darn bad. Turn your toe in, oh my gosh. And explore what's in the inner part of the calf. It is ridiculous in there right now. Can I just tell you, I need a sip. Oh, shoot. All right, so we've, we've explored. I want you to go to your most painful knot or spot, okay? I want you to stack your free leg on top and I want you to push down into that ball or into that foam roller. You can add more pressure by raising your hips up and then forcing your leg down into the ball. Oh my God, this hurts so good, okay? Hold it. We're here for another 15 seconds, ouch to the ouch to the ouch. It's like seriously. <laughs> All right, find a really good spot. Okay, take another sip if you need to. Use a few deep breaths to get set up for the next knot, next spot. And on your next exhale, slowly travel to another area. Now, when you assess your leg, you kind of created a map of where your tightness was. So all we're doing now is following that map. Tarek, how we doing? How we feeling here? Colleen, how we doing? Press and push, ouch, hold it. We're here for another 10 seconds and then we're gonna move. We're gonna spin four, four, uh, or we're gonna do four knots in the calf. We did six in the upper thigh. Take a deep breath in. On your exhale, follow the map, find somewhere new. Remember, it's not about, just about the back of the calf. Thank you for my hearts, guys. I can see it from all the way over here. Um, Remember, explore the inner and outer. So like if you take body pump, I think you'll find a lot of knots in your inner calf. Like, I don't know if it's from all the squatting with the calf raise and all that, but there's tons of them in there um, if you take body pump. Of course, if you take bar, explore the outer part, right? From all that turning out of the toes, you'll find a lot of nodding in the outer calf. Go ahead and take a deep breath in. On your exhale, find one more really, really good ouch. Take a sip and hold it. Hold, hold. So the reason we wanna make this a routine is because these knots don't just come back overnight. So the goal is for us to every week, every um, two times a week or three times a week to be able to get a little lower down the leg and to be able to systematically knock out these knots so that we create general flexibility and mobility. We don't have to depend on that five or 10 minutes before class and after class as our main mode of balance and uh, flexibility. So if in general we can be, you guys can relax, Take a sip of your mo um, your mimosa. <laughs> I was gonna say, take a sip of your mobility. Let's take a sip of that too. Um, if we, we can create general flexibility, right? You're gonna find that you're able to walk better, sleep better, run better, cycle better, perform better in class from making this a part of your regimen and not just five minutes or 10 minutes here. All right, let's take this ball. Let's switch legs. If you don't have the ball, remember you're using your foam roller or your knuckles. Either way, go ahead and explore this calf. Now, remember you're trying to create a map of where you're gonna go when we hold those positions. You're also taking note of like if you need to do this or not. It could be that your first leg was way tighter or knotted than this leg and you may choose to go back there. You may have done really great and successful calf stretches this week, and you may find that your time is more useful to go back to your quad. So you have that choice in about 10 seconds as to where you're gonna go. I'm gonna stay on the calves though, because my calves are on fire. I think it's from the uh, calf track I did in bar class, Jeremy. <laughs> All right, take a deep breath in. On the exhale, go to your most painful knot in the calf. Stack the free leg, Woo. push down. Jeez Louise, seriously, this is like a problem. <laughs> All right, press down. We're here for another 10 seconds. And then we're gonna move to point number two. 
Now I'm kind of doing it, so I'm going to relax. But in your attempt to stretch out the bottom, don't tense up the top. I just caught myself doing it, so try to relax. Okay, take a deep breath in. On your exhale, twist and turn that toe. Find another good knot. Don't forget to take a sip of mobility and take a sip of mimosa. <laughs> I like that take a sip of mobility line. I think I'm going to keep it. All right, press down. We have about 10 seconds here. Keep the force down and into the ball. Okay, take a deep breath in. And on your next exhale, find point number three. Remember, explore toes in, toes out, or toes up. Woo. Once you find a good spot, hold it. Relax the shoulders, try to retract them and push them down away from the neck. We're gonna hit the shoulders too, don't worry. All right, five seconds here, and then we'll move to point number four. Next up are the glutes. Finish off the calves, go to the glutes. Deep breath in, on the exhale, travel. Follow your map. Give me that one last good swoop right there. Okay. Nice, guys. Hold it here. Really press down. This is a patient class. So if you didn't have patience coming into this thing at 1130, I feel like I gave you a little bit more at 1150. Go ahead and hold it nice and stationary. We have about eight seconds here. If you're feeling intense pain or strain, Use your deep breathing technique to relax your brain and to relax your muscles. You can also use your mimosa as well. Go ahead and take a sip and relax. All right, as promised, we're moving on to the glutes. This is a fun one, y'all. We use the glutes literally for everything, right? So it's no wonder why they are traumatized and knotted up. All right, you're gonna take your ball or your foam roller and you're gonna uh, sit one of your glutes, one of your one set of glutes <laughs> on this ball, okay? You're going to just kind of roll around onto this ball. If you wanna go higher up toward the lower back, you can lower, ooh, <laughs> lower yourself, okay? If you wanna go down closer toward the hamstrings, you can do that. Of course, as mentioned earlier, you can do this on a foam roller as well or a rolling pen, but you want to stay sort of on one side. Okay, The foam roller is a little harder on this area just because your glutes are round and curvy and this is not. So it's a little harder, but it's doable. Of course, when in doubt, keep, keep rolling. When in doubt, you can just expose your glutes up and run your knuckles into your glutes the same way a massage therapist may, okay? Speaking of which, shout out to Aura Spa, we miss you. <laughs> All right, so you've kind of figured out what's going on with the, with the glutes. I want you to use a few deep breaths and on your next courageous exhale, find one good knot. You're gonna cross the free leg over and you're gonna press as much weight down into this ball as possible. Hold it, it's the same technique as we used before. Hold this stationary, okay? Just like the calf, the glutes wrap around the hip. So when we move next, don't be afraid to twist and turn and try to you know, explore every possibility. Deep breath in, exhale, travel. Ouch! I can't even reach my mimosa. This is ridiculous. The pain here. <laughs> I can't reach it. I will after this. All right. Hold this here. Okay, in five seconds, you're going to give me a big exhale and you're going to find a new knot. We're going to spin four uh, points here. Okay, four movements. Deep breath in. Exhale. Ooh, travel right on the outside. Don't be afraid to roll around and get loose, right? Everyone's body's differently. 
Everybody's body is different and tightens differently. Hold it for 15 seconds. Constant, still pressure into this ball, into your foam roller, or constant pressure down with your knuckle. Okay? Deep breath in. On the exhale, woo, move. I need some extra help on this particular move. After class, I'm going to need some, some extra help with the teacher, just in this area. <laughs> I guess it's from all that uh, squatting. Maybe a little bit of twerking. I did a little bit of twerking this week, but mostly squatting. So these glutes are traumatized for sure. Okay, take a deep breath in. On your exhale, come off the ball. Cheers to that. Take a sip. And let's switch. Okay. Sit on the opposite set of glutes. Okay, start in the thickest part of your glutes. Ooh, well. And just spend some time figuring out what's going on on this side. Okay, this is really important to actually spend a little bit of time in the beginning doing this because it helps us uh, be more targeted when it's time to stop and hold. And we're not wasting time like rolling when we should be stationary and still. Okay. So take about 10 more seconds. You can go lower toward the hamstring or higher. Whoop. Yeah, that's where my tightness is up there. Take a deep breath in. On your exhale, bend that knee. Cross the opposite leg over and allow as much pressure and weight on top of that ball as possible. Dig into the knot. Okay, remember if you're feeling that pain, if you're feeling that stress, use your big deep breaths to relax. On every exhale, you're more loose, you're more light. Okay, hold it, deep breath in, exhale, travel. Hold, nice and easy. If you have the skills and the reach to take a sip, you could. Otherwise, you can wait. We have two more knots. I don't have the skill or the reach right now. Maybe if I worked on it. <laughs> My drink is all the way over there. I keep forgetting it. Ouch. Deep breath in. Exhale, travel. Remember, try not to tense up other areas of the body as you're trying to work through this particular knot. I'm speaking specifically of the shoulders and the neck. Try to keep those open and loose. Okay. Deep breath in. On your exhale, find point number four. Hold. Good. Nice and patient, nice and easy right here. We have 15 seconds. Good. Nice deep breaths. Big exhales to release and relax. All right, on your next exhale, relax. All right, let's quickly move to the, um, the upper body and then we're gonna go into some towel work. So, you can just place your ball aside or hold it in your hand. Just want you to lay out. Okay, very simple, just lay out. Try to let your upper body take on the shape of this mat. So my palms are turned up. My shoulders are retracted. Gravity is pushing on my inner thigh, so it's okay for the toes to turn out in this moment. And we're trying to undo, you guys hold, we're trying to undo all that forward rounding stress we put on the body from typing, from texting, from talking on the phone, from driving. We're trying to undo that by teaching the body that this is what balance means, not this, okay? When we can do that, you'll find that you feel a lot less pain in your upper back, in your shoulders, and even in your lower back, in your hips. So let's take another, let's say 10 seconds to just lay here 
Think about letting the uh, upper back, your shoulder blades, your scaps, kind of melt into your mat. Good. Okay. Now, if you have a ball or even a foam roller, I want you to place it right at the front, I'm sorry, the back high edge of your shoulders, like into your delts, into your traps. And you're gonna raise your hips, to just kind of roll around and into this ball. If you do not have a ball or a foam roller, you're just going to dig your fingers into that area. And when you find a nice spot, you're just gonna squeeze, okay? Now, if you have that ball or foam roller, take a deep breath in and on your exhale, raise your hips and hold the pressure point. Good. Hold it here for another 15. You'll notice you carry a lot of stress and strain right in the neck and shoulder area. We don't really tackle the neck in this class just because it, it, it's, there's just so many nerves in there that I just don't feel comfortable doing it. But you'll find that if you relieve a lot of your chest, shoulder, and upper back tightness, that there'll be less pull on the neck. Deep breath in. On the exhale, travel to a new spot. Explore your body. And when you find something good, you can either hold it or raise your hips to soak deeper into the ball. Kind of hard to take a sip here, but we'll catch up when we sit up. Good, hold it. We have another 10 seconds. Deep breath in. Exhale, give me one more. On the next exhale, sit up. Grab a quick sip if you'd like. And let's switch sides. Okay, roll around for just a little. Try to create that map where you're figuring out where you're gonna go and it's the time to hold. We're gonna go to one of those spots in about five seconds. So take a deep breath in. On your exhale, go to one of those really tight knots. Raise your hips and dive your shoulder into this ball. Good, hold it here. We have about 15 more seconds. You guys are doing great, by the way. All right, hold it. I've been told this class is one of the most intense classes. I believe it, but I think that's so crazy because we, we haven't really jumped. We haven't really moved that much. So I find it interesting that people, when people say that. All right, go ahead and move. Find another good spot. And then you have that option to either lay into the ball or raise your hips and dive into the ball. So using a big exhale, go there. Let's hold it here for 20 more seconds. Good, try not to stress out the rest of the body in your attempt to relax the upper body. Good, hold. Five, four, three, two, relax. All right. Again, I'm sure there are more knots in there. So after we're done with class, now that you have the blueprint, you can go back in there. All right, let's put balls aside. If you have a towel or a stretching strap, go ahead and grab that. I'm not gonna overly micromanage how you fold your towel, but I can tell you how I fold mine. I have a hand towel, okay? I'm folding it like a bandana, right? So diagonal corners. First I have triangles, triangles, and then I'm going to flat fold this like a bandana, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna first take a sip, how about that? All right, you're gonna lay on your back. Let's start with the right leg. You're gonna wrap the towel along the front tip of the shoe or the front bottom edge of the shoe, so somewhere between the ball and the toes. You're not gonna pull on this towel. Don't think of it as like something to resist. You're gonna use your pincer grips and hold on to the bottom tips of your towel, okay? Now the free leg, the leg you're not stretching should be more straight than bent. So it doesn't have to be flat, but just have it low. Okay, so the first goal is to bring this leg into like a vertical space. 
You're going to use the towel to help you do that only if you need the help. If you can like pull your leg up into this space without the towel, do that. So that's the first thing. The second thing is to have a straight leg. So if your knee is really bent here, using deep exhales, I want you to force your foot up through this towel. Now, if it doesn't go perfectly on the first exhale, just try to make little gains with each big exhale until you can get that knee relatively flat and that foot as high as possible, okay? Some of you, this is like a challenge for some of you. And that's good. That means we're doing some different things and we're waking up some things in the body. So keep working on that straight leg. Do not pass go if your leg is not straight though. So I'm gonna move on. But if your knee is still here, do not do the next step. I want you to spend the rest of your try time trying to go straight. Okay, for those of you who are able to go vertical and straight, you're gonna flex your ankle here, again, without pulling on the towel. I still have these very light grips. Again, if your knee is still bent, you're working on that first. Okay, think about the straight leg in two ways foot pushing up to the ceiling and knee pushing forward toward your wall. All right, so some of us have a vertical leg, a relatively straight leg and a very flexed ankle. Now that we've created that mobility and that stretch on our own, we're gonna use this towel to go deeper. So I want you to get a better grip on your towel. I want you to pull down on that towel, pull. Take the stretch deeper. Think about opposing motions here. Your heel is going up and the force of the towel is pulling your toes down. Keep the straight leg, keep the vertical leg where your heel is right over your hips. And I want you to pull down as hard as you can. Keep going guys, keep going. What we're doing here is now adding active and static stretching to that same set of muscles that we released, right? Outer thigh, IT band, um, calves, right? We're, we're now stretching. It's appropriate to stretch it now that we've taken out those knots. Hold the stretch, okay? If those knots are resting in your muscle fibers, no matter what we do, we never really attain that balance and that openness. We stay tight. What we're feeling when we do things like that is we're feeling an instant gratification Right? We feel better in that moment, but we're not creating long-term balance and stretch. So that's why it's important for us to do the releasing first, and now we'll get the maximum benefit out of this. Hold it, okay? All right, so we're still up there. Using a big exhale, you're gonna pull down even harder on the front part of the shoe. I wanna see that the bottom of your shoe is flat to the ceiling. I also want to see that your heel stayed over your hip and that you didn't pull this leg in. We don't want to put so much um, reliance and stretch on the hip flexors. They get enough work. They are very efficient and proficient. We want balance, okay? Now that you're pulling, I want you to pull a little harder on your outside grip, right? So if our right leg is up, we're still pulling with the left arm, but we're just pulling a little harder on the right so that the outside of our shoe tilts down. Hold it. Good, hold it. So for those of you that are still struggling to get a straight leg, there's a couple things we can do. You can stick with this and really try to force that knee flat. You can get a longer towel or a longer device, or everyone hold your stretch. You can mount yourself up against a wall or a couch, and you can try to manufacture a straight leg just by mounting the back of your leg up against something flat, okay? All right, take a deep breath in, you guys. On your exhale, keep the leg, lose the towel, keep that leg up in the air. Let's add some mobility back to this ankle by rolling it. Go ahead and reverse it. Let's point the toe, give me soft little chops, getting mobility back to the hips. Go from the floor back to that vertical space. Good. Bring that leg up and hold. 
gently bend the knee and let's squeeze or pull that knee into the chest. Now we're stretching the glutes. We're gonna take that knee, cross it over the body. You're gonna try not to roll. So keep both shoulders flat on the floor still. Take that same knee and pull it out to the side again. Try not to roll. So keep both shoulder blades on the floor as you do this. And let's do that same sequence on the other side, on the other leg. Okay. Go ahead and bring your towel. Front edge of the shoe on the bottom. Okay. Go vertical first. Once you do that, go straight and flat. Press that heel high up toward the ceiling. Your foot is pressing into the towel. Once you get that, you're gonna flex your ankle. Gentle grips on your towel. Let the, let the body figure some things out for itself. Like We wanna try to avoid being so reliant on outside like equipment and outside forces. We wanna teach the body how to be balanced flexible and mobile on its own, okay? So we're straight, we're vertical, we're flexed at the ankle. Once you have all of those items checked off your list, go ahead and pull down, reinforce the stretch with your towel. Remember, if your knee is still bent, you're not here, you're still pushing up, trying to get that straight leg. I find that the runners and the cyclists feel this one the most, okay? And that makes sense. Every stride you take when you're running sends those shocks up the ankle and the knee, which pulls then on the muscles that tie into the hip, the, the ankle and the knee, so that makes a lot of sense, all right? And then the cyclist, just think about your body position on the bike. Go ahead and pull down harder. Your hips are flexed almost the entire time. You're forcing down the heel. heel. Right, sending those shocks up through the calves, the quads and the glutes, right? Okay, pull down a little harder on the outside of your shoe, pull. You're gonna feel this wherever you're most tight. So right today, I'm more tight in my calves than anywhere else. So I'm feeling it more there, but if up top, like quad, IT band, hamstrings, if those are tight, you're gonna feel it most there, okay? On your next exhale, go ahead and keep the leg, lose the towel. Roll your ankle. Good, reverse. Point the foot, soft little chops, expanding and decreasing the angle at the hip. Mobility there. Give me two more. And after two, bring the leg up. Bring the knee into the chest. Give it a nice little pull. Now take that knee across the body. Try not to roll. In the valley. Switch. Open up. Good. All right, quick, quick, quick. We have tons of other exercises that we get through in regular class. This is just one. So next time you see me, we'll do some of the other fun exercises and stretches. But today we're gonna end with our towel rotation. This is for the shoulders and the chest. So grab your towel or a shirt, anything that you can pretty much stretch or pull on, okay? You're gonna come onto your feet, get a nice sturdy base, glutes tight, abs tight. And I want you to just swing this towel above your head. You're gonna keep your arms straight the entire time. I'll turn this way, so we're not gonna lean back. We're gonna stay tall and just work this towel up and down. Give me two more. And after two, hold it above your head. Okay, I want you to force, force your, um, your arms away from your shoulders. Pull on the towel, squeeze the glutes to be taller, engage the abs to be straighter, relax the neck, 
And I want you to try to touch your shoulder blades together here. Okay. Now pull back. Good. Exhale. Roll the shoulders back. Let's do this one more time. One more time. And then I'm sending you to Juliet for vinyasa. All right. Hold on to the end tips of your towel. Engage your glutes. Swing. Right? Keep those elbows relatively locked because we want the motion through the shoulders. Every time you raise the towel, you're trying to get it further above your head. Give me one more. Now hold. Open the chest by squeezing your shoulder blades together. Straighten your arms. Engage your glutes. Squeeze your abs. What we're doing there is putting the force on the big muscles that can take it, the endurance muscles, glutes, abs, right? Try to pull the towel back a little more. You're still also pulling the towel apart. Take a few deep breaths. On your exhale, relax. Roll your shoulders back. All right. Give me a big inhale, stretching wide first, high second. Exhale, loosen low. All right, slowly getting those fluids back to your joints. On your last exhale, tell your body it's gonna be okay. 